this thing would be great if I was physically able to push it, which I'm not. <laughs> so I started thinking, well, could I attach to the lawnmower? And the answer is, of course, yes. So this is what I came up with. I sat down one night, got, got a pen and paper, and this is the final design I decided on. So had my friend come over. He did all the welding, the plasma cutting, the drilling, and I'm just going to take the credit for it. Sorry, friend. <laughs> you know who you are, but... Uh, Basically what we have here, we have a piece of 1x2, this is rectangular tubing, and then attached to that, welded, welded onto that tubing, is a piece of scrap, I believe that's 1 inch pipe, and then, you know what these two bushings are? These are actually from my old Western HTS shoe kit. So snow plows, you know, they have the shoes, but those shoes are adjustable, so you have these large spacers and then you also have washers to adjust how high or low you want to have your shoes sit. So. I had saved these and these were just sitting underneath the welding table and I figured that'd be perfect for this project. So how this works is if somebody's strong and you know if there's an able bodied person that wants to push this around, you can push it around just like this. But for somebody like me who's disabled, what you do is just angles right down. And then that connects right to the tractor right there. All right, and here's what the push blower looks like when it's hooked up to the old lawn tractor. I have this piece of rope right here, which this isn't anything special. You could use a bungee cord. It, it's kind of based on your preference, but anyway, the idea behind that rope is that it puts a little bit of downward pressure on this bar and therefore lifting up this front tire off the ground at times, I mean, it's not perfect. Like, there's there's two ways to think about this, right? One, if you have that rope tight and you have that front tire off the ground all the time, then you're putting kind of like a weird pitch on the engine and perhaps the engine components aren't getting lubricated as well. But the other idea behind that is that if you have that rope loose or you don't really have that rope, that control rope on there at all, well, your tire is gonna wear out like this and this tire wear is not for me this is from whoever had this thing last i'd imagine they probably did something similar to what i was doing but i saw no evidence of any kind of hitch on the thing so that's pretty much that i just have like a little bit of tension on this rope and let's take it around the yard and i'll show you how well it works
I don't know what you guys think, but I'd say this is a pretty darn effective setup and it's something that my body can actually tolerate. <laughs> I'm not really doing any wear or tear on the joints. Now the only thing I'd say you gotta be careful of is if you're looking to do a setup like this with a, you know, a lawn tractor or something like this, especially something that has belt driven blades is whenever you're towing that thing around, whenever you're towing that leaf or that push blower around, try and keep your blades on when you can because the issue becomes, this is the main shaft off the engine, this is your belt drive system. So what happens when you engage your blades, there's a pulley back on the deck back here that puts tension on this belt. And friction is what engages this belt with this main output shaft of the engine. The thing is, if you're driving around a lot and you don't have your belts engaged, what, what's happening is even though this belt is slack, this engine output shaft is still spinning. So what will happen is you'll start getting this belt really hot and then you're really gonna wear out your belt prematurely. So my recommendation would be to lift up your blades high I normally have it on five or six. Granted, there are going to be situations where you're going to have to shut off those blades, but whenever you're towing that thing around, just try and keep your blades on and just be aware of how hot your engine's getting too because you're putting quite a bit more load on the tractor, what it normally handles. I mean, granted, temperatures are cooler out generally when you're blowing these, but, you know, just keep an eye on your engine and try to make sure that it doesn't overheat. Make sure the Engine oil is good, air filter is clean, and you should be all right. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think.